Hey everyone, Shabby I'm here alongside Mr. PJ Tovey. Here we go. We are back with some more FIFA 19. Road to Glory here with Milk and Dills. Milk and Dills. Milton Keynes Dons. That's the word I'm trying to say. So as I said in the previous episode, we're going to try and do four matches per episode. We're going to play either side and then sim the middle two, if that makes sense. Just to help us get through the season a bit quicker. Plus it also means that we're going to be tasked to make sure our team is strong enough not just a uh, great potential but good enough to play now which is what we're trying to do and it tests our management skills not only our fifa skills that's what we're trying to do so we're going to start things off with bolton in the carabao cup at home we're going to sim the game against uh, crew away and the game against grimsby at home and then of course play the game at home to exeter and also i believe our scout is due back on the 26th might yeah. get a few decent new players yeah i doubt it but we'll try Anyway, let's, uh, let's sim forward a few days. We're still in the transfer window, of course. Don't forget that. Nothing else we want to do business-wise, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. We'll have to have a look if there's any, any interesting things going on. So Bolton, the Carabao Cup, of course. You didn't see the last episode. We hammered Oldham 6-0. 6-0. I don't know what happened. And what I have done is because we won so easily and because we're playing against an upper league, or a higher league um, opponent, I have actually put the difficulty level up. So... Expect us to lose 6-0 now. Hey. That's the plan. But either way, let's get straight into this game at home up against Bolton. Oh no, not straight away. Wow. Three minutes and 51 into the game. And we've been bummed. I just cut through like a bit, but... Uh, is that my fault, or is that just... Just positioning. Yeah. Uh, McGuinness. Northern Ireland International. Leighton. Didn't really see it. Came that bloody quick at him. Can't hold it against him. I will do though. Finale, I'm happy now. Nice. Go on, gotta be, gotta be. Oh. There! Go on. Oh. Oh. Come on, mate. Vargas, come on. Oh, I think that was. Yeah, that's Vargas, yeah. Yeah. It was special. optimistic by uh, anybody's standards. Next turn. Wiltshire. I've been Wiltshire. They are two divisions ahead of us. Yeah. I'm, I'm using that as some sort of solace, which I, I didn't want to win games that we shouldn't be winning realistically. I don't mind sneaking a victory here and there, but... We haven't got any height in the box though to really go for these sort of headers. I keep putting the balls in, but. That's it! Oh. Oh, it's Vargas again. The minimum of two minutes of Guns. added time. Get in! It's 2 1. Woo! Want to go back in? Is that Vargas? No. Do you not? Is it Daka? That's uh, yeah, Daka. Daka. He's just, he's awesome. Yeah. I've never, I, when we played last year's game, my, my central striker was not scoring anywhere near enough goals. It was always the wider players that gave me the goals, but he seems to be getting a lot. Yeah. Man from Zambia. First time. Yeah, it's not bad. 2 1 down. I feel a little bit better now. And then over. Oh, he's got it in the back of the net. Ten minutes left and it's 2-2. Sorensen just off the bench with the goal. And I just love to that. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't involved, but I just love the man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's pretty good. That's not the sort of finish you expect from a CDM either, is it really? You can take it, though. Oh, I'll take it. Striker from Scandinavia. Tell you what, 2-0 down to come back to 2-2 against higher league opposition. Yeah. This could be a make or break for our team here. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I had the ball. <laughs> oh. uh, extra time. Penalties. Straight to penalties is all yours, mate. You need some retribution yourself. You need some retribution after that loss against Oldham Athletic. PJ Toby has control. Check a trade trophy penalty shootout to qualify for the Ooh. second round. 
Come on, lights on. We dropped five in the first one, didn't we? Yeah. So, you know, be awful. That's the worst penalty I've seen in my entire he life. He tried it, didn't he? Six foot six. This is this is the rise of the sun. The sunrise, if you will. Yeah. There we go. We're through with the check. Went two nil down and come back and won on penalties. Yeah. To go through the check of train trophy. That is a good achievement. That That's is a very good achievement. Achievement. Uh, let's go. have a look at the old range. Who did well? Dakar, of course. Uh, nine point three. Cochrane. 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 <laughs> nine point one. <laughs> How does Tanadi only get a 7.5? I mean... Oh, Luke, he can't be man of the match over a game. I'm pretty sure that Tanadi should be man of the match for a lot of games he's even playing. There you go. That's just that's just how it works. <laughs> there we go. Right. Good win, that. I'm surprised we're going to do that, especially after getting 2-0 down. Against Bolton, championship team. Yeah. It's a big win. I'm sure they probably put a couple of second team players out there, to be honest. But uh, mm. all right, so we're going to go forward to the game now against Crew Alexandra. This one we're going to sim in the league we're currently top of the table the only team in the league to win both our games and of course we've got a massive goal difference for her, thankfully for well, me yeah. um, for scoring six goals there so let's go so Crew's last game they lost 4-0 to Nottingham Forest in the cup uh, Newport County they beat 1-0 in the last league game and then Morecambe they drew with so they've got four points so far which is not bad for them really but hopefully our team is going to be that little bit better I'm hoping so come on Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I wouldn't be totally adverse to a draw, to be honest, though. Especially when you're simming games like this. Vargas comes on, Amaya comes on. It's a goal for Daka. It's Daka time. Cochrane got the other carded. There we go. It's another win. Three out of three. Yeah. Bloody hell. I weren't expecting it to be this um, smooth in these sims, to be honest with you. Uh, let's go do another little bit of player development, I think. And let's just load the previous one again. Claude Maurice so close to a 67. I don't think he'll get it in this one, though. He's got a fair way to go on that. Leighton stats are firing up. B6 is 63 now. b -Sick. he started off as a 61, so he's got two points this season now, really. Yeah. Uh, we're really building his uh, tackling abilities up, which is really, really good. Uh, Maya's getting close now to that 63 and also getting close to puberty. <laughs> I think all of them except for Maurice. Yeah. Like they've just come out of school. Um, oh, my, my looks like they've even started school yet, to be honest yeah. with you. Now, do we want to change the team around a bit for this game against Grimsby, or do we stick with the same starting 11? Just have a look for fitness, see who's uh, fresh and who's lagging. So uh, Maurice, cool, Maurice has to go. yeah. Who do you think? Do we just go straight for Vargas, or do we go for Amaya? Go for Amaya this time now. Uh, let's go for Amaya in that wide position. Anyone else you think? McDonald hasn't played in a few games. He's, yeah, put him in for Maya. It's a bit of a drop, isn't it, really? But um, in stat, we're only three points down. Um, I want to try and just, I want to put Graf on the bench for a game. Let's put on Dumbrose off the bench because he's he's wanting to have a full rest, I think. Yeah. Uh, anyone else? No, I'm so close. I think we're okay with that. We don't want to make too many wholesale changes. We want to stick with the team that's winning games. 
see how we get on. Another another sim game. This is at home to Grimsby. So the last one was away at Crew. This one's at home to Grimsby. So we've got that little bit of home advantage. Let's see how we get on. If we can get another victory, that'd be amazing, you know. So far, they've lost two games and got a 1-0 win over Lincoln. So they're not doing terrifically well, Grimsby. They lost to Michaelsfield. Oh, and they've just scored. And they've scored straight away. <laughs> well, that shows us for being uh, optimistic. Conqueror with another yellow. He's going to get suspended too late, isn't he? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Bring it back. 2-0. Tonali's got one back. Tonali, get he in. Scores his first goal for the club, but I think the bubble has burst. The Tomba's on the... The Tomba's on the B-set. That's interesting. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it's a 2-1 loss. Our first loss of the season. Our first lost point of the season. Yeah. But that does make it a bit more of a challenge for us when we do actually play our matches. The next game is against Exica. Sid Exica? Exeter City and we'll go past that because I think the youth scout comes back on the 26th as well oh my god we've got Everton in the Checker Trade trophy Checker Trade? If you Carabao ever... Carabao yeah they don't if... qualify for the Checker Trade I thought they do now don't they just not like the um, the under 21s no I'm not sure that surely not because when that like, United in the uh, Checker Trade this year yeah the reserves yeah I thought it might be that maybe I don't know right so we trade a few players back in then yeah Claude Maurice is still not 100% fit. Yeah, that just comes down to his stats. Um, how do we want to play this? Should we learn another game? Should we play Marge at front and play with Daffy? Give Daffy a break. Yeah. What Leo have you got on there now? Um, uh, maybe bring Maurice on the bench just in case we get into trouble. Mm -hmm. Switch things around a little bit. Should be alright for us then. Happy days. We've got to give Dakar a bit of a rest every now and again. He's done so well for us and we need Marja to start striking as well. Yeah. So here we go, Exeter City at home. The last game of the episode. Let's get a win. Let's get a win. There we go. Go on, Marja, play it. Oh, he's through. Vargas is in. He's got it. He's just about snuck it underneath the keeper. Vargas. I wasn't feeling too confident. I must have been. I've skipped the. Yeah, I've skipped the replay, but oh, I, I didn't mean to. But there we go. Oh, one nil. I'm happy now. There we go. That's it. Nice. Not the most uh, impressive of wins. Yeah, not the old, uh, impressive wins, but um. Wins a win. Yeah, wins a win. It keeps it the top of the perch. Cut the episode. We're gonna uh, finish up after this game. Are we going to just have a get the youth scouting? Oh yeah, He's hopefully. due in tomorrow. Hopefully. And we've got Hammond now, look. Nine attempts for them, six on target. We yeah, have three we and three on target. Yeah, we still won the game. That's it, it's about taking your opportunities. When you've got the better players like we have, that's what you do. Yeah. Right, so we should still be top of the perch with one free lost one, I think, now? Yeah. Sounds about right. So we should still be top of the perch, let's double check. Oh, it's League Two, it's the Carabao Cup first. Ooh, okay. Well, let's just skip forward a day because, there we go. Monthly scouting update, that's all I wanted. This is what I dream of every single month. Right. Here we go. We went to Holland, didn't we? We did. So we have got Luke Brewer, who's not good enough. No. 61 to 83 is just not good enough. Daniel Vissier. Again, don't not think he's good, good enough. enough. Joshua Dijkstra. He's even well, worse. He's even worse. This Van den Bosch. Better, but still, I don't think he's going to be good enough. Not for this team. No, I want to try and aim for. If we're going to take players from the academy, because we've done so hard on the transfers we've got, yeah. I don't want to take anybody from the academy that's not going to be 85 plus. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Oh. And this is just not going to be good enough, I'm afraid. Well, yeah. wasn't the best of the months, but we'll come back next month and hopefully we'll have a little bit better. Let's look at the calendar, see what matches we've got for your next episode then. So we have got the Carabao Cup game against Everton, which is going to be bloody difficult. Oh, yeah. Then we'll be simming the game against Swindon and also a game against Cambridge away. I think we'll play that actually. Yeah, we'll play the trophy. We'll play the trophy and we'll sim the Yeovil game instead. Cool. So we're simming the two league games, playing the two cup games next time, so that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and hopefully we can progress in at least one. I um, don't know about Everton to be honest with you, but we'll give it our hardest try. Yeah. Just sneak a big league upset. You never know. They might play a second rate team, so it might not even be too bad. <laughs> we'll see. I can't imagine they're going to be playing their best players like, like whoever the best players. 
Not well. Well. Leon Osman and Tim Cahill. <laughs> Leon Osman. I don't think they'll be playing them, are they, really? <laughs> Tony Hibbert. Bringing them out of retirement. If they're really lucky, they'll bring out Neville Southall. Nice. There we go. Of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please do hit a like and, of course, hit that subscribe as well. I've been Shabby Gamer alongside Mr. PJ Tovey. Peace out. <laughs>